Namaste everyone and welcome to Wellness Mantra. And today's Wellness Mantra is going to be very special because you don't have to sit on the mat. Today, let's do yoga from a chair. This is dedicated to all my friends around the world who are unable to sit on the floor for various reasons that could be because of uh, obesity, because of uh, arthritis, because of joint pains, because of any reason it includes work. So if you're unable to go down and sit on the floor while practicing, uh, just sit where you are right now, probably at your desk, um, at your workstation, and let's try and do yoga from here. All right, so this is going to be a fairly simple yoga on um, a lot of uh, requests uh, to make it very simple and to start off on a very light note. But I assure you that this will give you a thorough body warm up and will prepare your body for advanced asanas as you advance in your practice. All right, so all you need to do this yoga is a comfortable chair, um, preferably one with a backrest and one without arms uh, so that you can stretch your hands out freely. All right, so let's begin with a few uh, head and neck movements. Starting off with breathing in, raising your head up. Breathing out, dropping your chin to your chest. Breathe in and up. Breathe out and down. Breathe in and up. Breathe out and down. Breathe in and up. Breathe out and down. Now we pull our ears towards our shoulder, pulling it down, giving a nice fine stretch to your neck sideways. Breathe in, center, breathe out to the side. Nice and stretched. Breathe in, center, feel that stretch all along the side of your neck, falling into your shoulders. Breathe in, center, breathe out to the side. Feel that nice stretch, enjoy that fine stretch. Many of you will notice that your neck feel very strained uh, while trying to do this. This actually helps to reduce and relax your neck strain. Uh, let's do a head rotation. Do it very slowly, enjoying each and every moment, observing your muscles and the various muscles used as we do this head rotation. Take your time, ease into it, dropping your ears to your shoulder, breathing out, lowering your chin to your chest as you rotate your head very very slowly very very slowly as you reach to the other side of your shoulder start breathing in as you turn your head backwards enjoy that full circle when you are at the center let's drop it to the other side and once again, in the opposite direction of what you just did. When you go backwards, breathe in. And slowly come to the center. That feels good, doesn't it? All right. Now let's do a little bit of a arm workout or shoulder rotation. Breathing in and lifting your hands up. Breathing out and taking it back. Breathing in and up. Breathing out and down. Breathe in and up. Breathe out and down. Breathe in and up. Breathe out and down. Now the other way around, one and down, two and down, three and down, four and 
down. Good job. Now for our fingers and chest. So we start off with a simple breathing practice where we open our hands and expand, close and pull it back to this direction. Breathe in, expand. Stretch it back as much as you can. Breathe out and slowly pull them in. Breathe in and expand. Breathe out and pull it in. Try and synchronize your breath along with this. Breathe in and expand. Breathe out and pull it in. One last round, breathe in and expand, breathe out and in. Good job guys, gently relax your hands and now we do a little bit of a finger warm up. This is very essential for people who have joint pains, who have a, a beginning about or a, a chance of arthritis. Mm, try and flex your fingers one by one, okay? So you go one, now both these fingers, two, three, four, and five. Let's do it again. Index finger down, both index and middle finger down. All the three fingers down, all the four fingers down and your thumb inside, all the fingers in. One more time, one, two, stretch it out, three, four, five. One more time, one, two, three, four, five. Good job guys, let's do it one more time. One, stretch it all the way down, two, three, four, and five. You've made a fist of your hands. Now do a rotation. One, two, three, four, five. The other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Relax your hands for some time. You, you will observe that you have a lot of strain felt on your shoulder as you extend your hands out. It's just that your muscles are getting ready and prepared for a better warm up or exercise. So you will slowly feel that with daily practice all these strains will slowly start coming down. Now to give that extra fine stretch, we're going to put our hands up. Try and see if you can make a 90 degree like this, which means pulling your palms towards you, making a 90 degree. All right, and now drop it down. Trying to see if you can make a 90 degree still. You feel a nice stretch as you do one and two. One and two. One. Two, one, and two. Now to give that extra effort, extra tug, we're going to put one hand in front. Using the other hand, we're going to pull these fingers towards us. Nice, fine stretch like this. Yeah? You'll feel that stretch all along the underside of your hand. Now the other way around. This hand, one and two. One more time, one and two. One more time, one and two. All right, that was good. Now, to give it an extra fine stretch, for those who are sitting at a desk working on your system and feel that your wrists are, wrist is fine, uh, aching or you have a problem with your wrist, let's try and place our palms on our thighs, on our lap, 
Now try and see if you can point your fingers towards you. Now this is going to be a little hard for people who have no practice at all, but we will try and lower our palms into our knees like this. And if you can go back, stretch it out. You feel a nice stretch working against your hands. This is something that you can do from your workplace also. So when you have a lot of work at your system and you've been sitting all day typing or writing, uh, try and place your palms on your lap. Try and see if you can place your fingers to point towards you and see if you can press your entire palm into your lap like that. Enjoy that nice fine stretch. Stay there. Good job guys. That's it for your arms. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, stretching sideways uh, which will help our lateral bend. So use the support of the chair. You can put one hand on the side of the chair, lift the other hand up and bend to the side. <laughs> Now breathe out, bring it back here to the other side. Breathe in, take it all the way up and now bend to the side. And now bring that back and we'll do it one more time. Breathing in, raising your hands all the way up. When you're here, try giving it a nice pull and bend to the side. Feel that nice stretch. This is the Adha Kati Chakrasana that we do standing. You can still do the same version using the support of the chair which makes sure that you will not fall to the side and still gives you almost all the benefits of Adha Kati Chakrasana. The other side. All the way up and down. <laughs> Breathe in and release. Now for a twist. So I'm going to try and put my hand on my knee, my, that is my right hand on my left knee, and I'm going to turn around. So I'm going to use the back of the chair to look back. So I breathe out, stay there and breathe in and come back. Now I'm going to put my left hand on my right knee, use the support of the back of the chair and breathe out. Breathe in and come back. Now if this is very difficult and if you can't reach your arm to the back of your chair, there's still another way we can do it. So just use the side of your chair, still see if you can put both the hands on the side of the chair and turn back. Breathe in center and to the other side now. Put both the hands on the side of the chair and use that to push. Now if you are working at a desk, you can put one hand on the desk and see if you can reach out to the side and give it a nice tug. Works anyway for us. Alright, now to give that nice stretch to your chest, we're going to use the back of the chair, we're going to sit a little forward and try and place our feet on the ground. Use our hands to hold the back of the chair and push the chest out. I'm going to show this sideways so that you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put my chair sideways. So if I'm sitting here, try and sit tall on your chair. Please don't sit like that. Once you're here, Put your hands out on the back of the chair and stretch your chest out. One more time 
try and raise your hands higher and pull your chest out a little more higher if you can and pull your chest out you'll feel a nice pinch at the back of your neck this is very very beneficial this is giving you that nice fine tug at your nape eventually when you take your hands off you'll feel the relaxation breathe out and gently drop your hands back that was a good stretch wasn't it all right now for the forward and backward bending we'll breathe in raise both the hands up breathe out and see if you can keep the hands by the side of your ears and keep going down as much as you can breathe in and go up if you can rest on to your chair and go backwards better breathe out and go down when you go down make sure you don't hold your head up and just drop your head down as well breathe in lean on to your chair go back as much as you can and out let's go down relax breathe in and come up breathe out and drop your hands to the side now this way we have ensured get to keep our spine supple even when we are not standing so we have actually done the lateral bend for the spine we have done the sideway twist to the spine and we have also done a forward and backward bending which makes sure that the spine is nice and supple your back gain some strength from all these practices all right now that we have reached our spine let's do something for the hips for all of those of you who feel your hips are too tight too rigid the culprit is your chair but we try and see what we can do even while sitting on the chair all right so if you are sitting on the chair try and take your leg up okay now place your feet on your thighs and see if you can slowly pull your knee downwards so this will actually help to open up that hip a little now if you're suffering from joint pains it may not be the easiest thing to do but you can slowly do it this is for primarily for your hip all right gently hold your knee and slowly place your feet back on the floor now with the other leg slowly lift your leg place your feet on your thighs and see if you can stretch that knee into the floor well done darlings you're doing a great job all right now we place that leg down so our hips are slowly slightly becoming more flexed this will actually help us with become making our hips a little more supple now for one more workout please don't lean on your chair make sure you're sitting nice and tall on your chair all right now we're going to do something for our knees we're going to try and raise our knees all the way up to our chest all right breathe in now if you can take your knee up all the way like that well done now if you can't do it all the way up without the support of your arms please feel free to hold on to your knees with your hands and slowly lift it up all the way up and see if you can hug it at your chest okay and then down let's do the other leg breathe in 
out. One more time. Breathe in, lift it all the way up. And out. One more time. Breathe in, all the way up. And out. Well done, darlings. Now for a final feet workout. Sit with your feet firmly pressed on the floor. Now we're going to see if we can slowly lift a leg off putting our weight only on our toe. Feel that stretch. Now place the knee down, feet heat down. Now the other feet lift it all the way up until your leg is resting only on your toe and down. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. If you don't really understand what I'm doing, I'll show it to you sideways. There we go. So you sit to the front, making sure your feet is on the floor. You breathe in, raise your leg all the way up until you're on your toe and slowly place it down. Breathe in, raise your leg all the way up until you're on your toe, on the tip of your toe and down. Breathe in and down. Breathe in and out. Now for our heels. See if you can stretch your leg out and place your heels on the ground. Now we're going to flex those feet, flex those ankles, stretching out our toes, stretching out and flexing your ankles. Two. Now if this is very difficult for you, place one leg on the ground and do it with one. One, two, three, four. Now with the other leg. One, two, three, and four. Well done. Now if you can do a small rotation, one, two, three, four, the opposite way, one, two, three and four. Now see if you can rest your leg on the side of your legs and see if you can put a little pressure that way. So you are resting your leg. Resting your weight on the side of your leg. And now from here we are going to stand on our toes one by one and put your weight on your knee. And now see if you can put your heels on the ground and relax. And now we do a small simple workout to stretch out our legs again. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall on your chair and we're going to lift one leg at a time. All right, raising and you breathe in, raise your right leg up, breathe out and bring it down. Breathe in, left leg up, breathe out and bring it down. Breathe in, Right leg up. Now if you can't go all the way up, making your leg parallel to the ground, it's all right. Just lift it as much as you can. So if this is where your leg rests, that's fine. Just do it along with your body, listening to what your body is telling you. But please do try and make sure you attempt to do it at your best. Don't give up so soon. Breathe. In and out. Well done, darlings. 
So, that was the easy chair yoga for today. Uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you who have joint pains will be easily able to practice this along with me. Please try and make sure that you keep practicing all this and if you're not going to watch the video every time, there's an easy way to remember. Remember that I started with my head, slowly moved on to my shoulders, then we did the spine, then we made sure that we, our fingers are all flexed, then we went down to our hips and then we did our knees until we reached our toes. Do you remember the song head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes? <laughs> Just remember that principle and it makes it so much easier to remember things. Good luck practicing. I'll see you later. Goodbye.